Hey folks, Rob from RV Adventures here. I just wanted to do a quick tip on the RV power cord when you're uh, back home. We've been back home for a little while now and uh, I recently did a uh, conversion from the mouse hole cord where you shove it all back into the little hole uh, and it went to a twist lock uh, style of plug. So what happens is when you get home you have this uh, giant uh, pile of cord here because you can't push it back into the hole anymore because you put a twist lock plug in it. Uh, the twist lock plug is worth doing. It's a good uh, upgrade to your RV, but then it leaves you with this big pile of cord uh, when you get back home uh, for us because the outlet's only a couple of feet from our trailer. And on top of that, you have to use one of these adapters here to go from the 30 amp to the 15 or 20 amp plug. So I didn't really like that uh, because I don't like having all this cord out here. Uh, for one, I think it's kind of a tripping hazard, and two, uh, it's just kind of an invitation for some uh, tweaker to come by and uh, just grab some uh, cord. They're ripping them out of lamp posts every day, so why not just pick this one up? Um, so instead, I keep this one locked up when we're not uh, using it on a trip. And I made a pigtail that will fit in that uh, 30 amp twist lock and then it converts down to a uh, male end of a 15 amp uh, extension cord. Uh, so if you follow me inside here, I will uh, show you the parts you need to, uh, to make this happen and also uh, how to, how to uh, wire it. Okay, so here we are on eBay uh, and this is the uh, plug that you'll need. It's a uh, NEMA L5-30R. Uh, if you look at them on other websites uh, or even in the hardware store, they're quite a bit more expensive. They'll be about $30. Um, this one on eBay is $10, free shipping, um, and uh, we're not building space shuttles here, so uh, even if it's a little bit lower quality, it should be fine for what we're trying to do is just uh, keep the batteries topped off. We're not using the air conditioner or uh, anything else with a high current draw. This is only to keep the batteries topped off while you're uh, parked at home. Um, so this thing should work just fine. All right, so here's how it's going to look when it comes out of the package. You'll have two pieces. You'll have the rear collar and then the uh, main portion of the plug where the wires hook in and then uh, you plug that in into the uh, plug on the RV there. So uh, I'll show you how to wire it up here real quick. So when you go to wire it, you're going to need to either make your own extension cord and you can make that out of any gauge wire. Uh, that'll fit in this this plug if uh, you wanted to make it out of a thicker gauge to be able to run the air conditioner or something I just made this out of a standard uh, 14 gauge extension cord and uh, my intention was just to charge the batteries with it so the wiring gauge on this probably wouldn't be enough to uh, run the air conditioner or uh, the water heater or something without uh, potentially causing a fire so you have to keep that in mind when you're using uh, adapters and pigtails to go from a 30 amp plug down to a 15 amp supply. Uh, if you try and turn everything on in your RV, you could end up with a fire. So the first thing is uh, slip the collar over, over the plug, then you would strip down, remove the outer sheath, and then on the back of the actual uh, plug here you have a strip gauge. It'll show you how far to take down the wires. You also have different colors on the uh, screws. Gold is for the hot side, the black side, White is for the white, uh, neutral. Green is for the green wire, ground wire. Inside these holes, there's little clamps uh, that will hold the wire down. So you just find out, find the uh, the right clamp for the wire that you're working with. Uh, so green for ground here. And then I'll cheat a little bit sometimes here and uh, use a power drill. like that doesn't want to work. There we go. Alright, so you can see that clamp has moved down and uh, grabbed hold of the wire. We'll tighten it down with a screwdriver. 
just to make sure we got a good connection. Alright, so the next one's going to be the hot wire, which is the gold screw on this plug. The problem I'm running into here is before I turn the camera on, I open these up with the uh, power drill and it kind of bottomed them out. It made them really hard to turn, so. Oh. Helps if you go the right direction, too. Okay, and then the last wire, which is the white neutral wire. All right, nice and tight. So we'll just double check. We got everything going where it needs to be. Okay, we'll bring this collar up put that on and you see this little notch here there's a notch in the uh, plug where that fits just like that and then you have two more screws here we'll tighten these guys up before we do those Then these screws hold the uh, the front of the plug to the collar in the back. Make sure everything's good and tight. And same thing with this collar in the back. All right, and that's it. One 15 amp to 30 amp twist lock pigtail. Alright, so here we are back at the RV now, and instead of having this uh, giant pile of cord and the adapter, now what we're left with is our nice pigtail. I'm just going into a short extension cord up to the outlet. So a lot less wire hanging out, uh, less temptation for wire thieves, and less of a tripping hazard. And to me it looks a lot better than having that big mess sitting on the ground next to your RV. So hopefully this will help somebody. If it does, uh, please hit the uh, subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to be uh, notified of more videos um, and RV tips, thanks for watching.